Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to give you an introduction to a method of slices. So the method of slices involves breaking up a sliding mass into a series of slices. And it can be used for both total or effective stress analysis, any geometry or loading, any pore pressure state, and any soil or rock layering. So let's look at a single slice and the forces which act on this slice. So of course this slice is going to have a force due to its own weight. There will be a resisting shear force acting at the base of the slice and because we are slicing the sliding mass up into a series of slices we are exposing the internal forces which act between adjacent slices and these are known as interslice forces. And these interslice forces are represented by these terms here, R. And these interslice forces can also be broken up into their horizontal and vertical components. So E corresponds to the normal interslice forces. <clears throat> And X corresponds to the tangential interslice forces. This distance X, X here corresponds to the distance from the center of the slip circle to the center of the slice. And that's found by R sine alpha which is this angle here. And L just corresponds to the arc length of the slice, the slice base. And all these terms here have eyes because these, these terms will all be different for each slice that you look at. There are also two main methods of slices. The first method is the Swedish or Fellaini's method. And the second is the Bishop's method. And I'll talk more about these two methods in more detail in later videos. Hope this video helps guys.